Hey everyone, oh, here's a big surprise, indie horror comedy on the block today. This one's a little bit older, it's My Bloody Banjo from Liam Regan who wrote and directed this, and My a Bloody Banjo tells us the story of Peltzer Arbuckle. This poor guy, he's got a overbearing girlfriend that you wonder why he's with at a job, you're wondering why he's at with a boss who is so abusive that he's luckily, lucky HR never shows up. Up. He works with a woman he once dated who is now going out with probably the biggest bro guy ever. And yeah, he thought he put his uh, dark high school past behind him along with his imaginary friend. But when his imaginary friend shows up, it causes chaos once again in his life and it leaves a bloody trail behind him as he tries to get rid of this imaginary friend. Uh, my bloody banjo, yeah, uh, trauma-esque all the way, uh, but with a bit of a dry British spin to it. And I, <laughs> I got, I, I like that quite a bit. Peltzer Arbuckle, played wonderfully by James uh, Hammer Morton. This is a guy you get so frustrated with. You just don't know why he's dealing with any of this. You know, they establish it a little bit that maybe there's some guilt involved with uh, his past, you know, and then when his <laughs> imaginary friend shows up, uh, I, I loved it. it. He was kind of a cross between, he was like a dark version of Mac the Knight from uh, McDonald's almost <laughs> in his spirit and what he did. Wow, things get bloody and gory. There's wonderful practical effects. Dietz Montgomery plays Peltzer's overbearing girlfriend, played by Danny Thompson and uh, yeah, Dietz Montgomery, uh, his girlfriend is just is just another one of those characters you you want to see something bad happen to because she is just horrible. But she's supposed to be Mr. Sawyer, played by Vito Trigo. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> not many bosses would survive if they do what he does. But then again, when you're in a small office like he is maybe you can get away with that but i i highly doubt that then there's clay von uh, karlowitz who played styles rembrandt styles is like the ultimate bully jock and it's interesting what they do with his character because on one hand you're surprised at some of his reactions on the other hand you're like no, no, we want the we want this guy to die a bloody horrible death just because of the type of person he is. And then Lawrence Harvey showing up in here as a surprise. Clyde Toulon is his name. Toulon, it's gotta be a play off of Puppet Master. I, I have to believe it's a play off of Puppet Master. And uh yeah, that character wow they go places with it they go places with the humor as well this is this is not going to be for the easily offended again it's got a little bit of dryness to it but where it ended up going was a bit of surprise in a gleefully gory delightful way and it was the only way it could really go so yeah, uh, My Bloody Banjo, if you like your gory, wonderful gore practical effects, by the way, if you like your dark, dark comedy, gory uh, film that is very much trauma, uh, <laughs> then you'll want to check out My Bloody Banjo. Uh, it is one of those that's going to be for select taste, but those whose taste it does satiate are going to enjoy it quite a bit. So thank you so much for watching my uh, review of My Bloody Banjo. If you have seen this film, please leave your comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Check out our Patreon as well as like, subscribe, bells and whistles, all that here so you don't miss all the great content we got coming in 2023. I thank you for your support. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.